Okay, so this uh, concept builder has a lot to do with what we talked about a little bit yesterday and today. Just being able to fill in everything that you see in the diagram. So, uh, in this case, what uh, what we want to do is calculate how we filled in everything. So we knew in the beginning that you had 85.3 newtons of frictional force. And the mass was a 11.41 uh, kilogram object. Okay, so you got that right there. Now, the other thing to note is that it's a rightward moving object. So the velocity is to the right. And so we just have to basically in the, the box um, accelerates it leftward, as you know from today's discussion, is that the net force and acceleration always act in the same direction. So it might be moving to the right, friction is slowing it down to the left. So we've got to fill in everything we know. And so the first thing you would do is you'd say, all well, the force to the gravity is that 11.41 times uh, 9.8. All right, and the second thing I would have done, you can do this in a variety of ways, but the normal force is equal to the same as gravity, a lot, you know, you've seen that quite a bit. And I would say the third thing you can conclude down here is that the net force is to the left, exactly like the problem we did today. And then the acceleration is just that now the fourth step here, I guess, is the net force over the mass, which is 85.3 newtons over 11.41 kilograms, which gives you that 7.48. Now we have a situation where we have multiple forces acting horizontally and we're given that there's a rightward force of 85.6, so we got that. Uh, the mass is given as 6.11. The frictional force between the surfaces is 36.7. So, we have several things we can already go on. First thing I would do is once again, figure out the gravity. That's a common thing to just go ahead and figure out. So you have uh, 6.11 kilograms times 9.8 and then after that I can go ahead and conclude that the normal force is 59.88 so now I got everything in the diagram the next step is to figure out the acceleration and the net force is a little different than the previous one but it would be 85.6 newtons to the right minus 36.7 newtons to the left over the 6.11 kilogram mass. And that comes out to be 8.0 meters per second squared. So you got that. And what I should have done first is this, I apologize. That's this quantity up here, but that's how you pull that all together.